relating to last episode with the users. And why I should say, why do they keep trying to come back? You know, what is the purpose? Do they not know that they are users? Do they know, figure they can be slick about slithering their way back in? Like, I don't know. Ladies, what do you think? Why do people who like to use others keep trying to come back around when you've clearly, you know, tried walking away or have walked away from them? I said this last week, because we allow them to. When you allow someone um, that constantly uses you over and over again, it's because you say, okay, well, I have a soft heart for this person, or, oh, it just makes me feel so bad when they need $150 to pay their light bill, like, Oh my gosh, right. they still have a part in your heart and in your life and clearly in your mind if you would keep allowing someone to come back. My mom said something that I always coin um when it, when I take on things in life and that is um the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and respect uh, expecting different results. Yeah, I love that. And so that is most definitely um, a tad bit of insanity when you keep letting somebody come in <clears throat> in your life over and over again, um, using you for your money or your sex or whatever that you provide mm-hmm. in a good way. Mm. Uh-oh. Oh. We got somebody at the door. Who is it? Who at the door? We got some live bait, guys. Caller, last number 4622, you're on the Tasha Taste, Girls Behaving Badly. Man, what it is, man. It's, it's hey. your boy, the one, the Bray out of Houston, Texas, baby. I, I love y'all show already, you feel me? I'm, I'm going to get on the horn tonight, baby. Y'all got some real topics going on. Hey, Thank you. Out to Texas, baby. Yeah. Hey, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. So. I'm trying to told you, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> and then I love that old school throwback y'all just put out there. Do me, baby. Hey, that, you took me way back, both flat. You hey. feel me? Yeah, I love that Bell Biv DeVoe. Yeah, <laughs> I, ain't no, no, I ain't know. I ain't know y'all listen to stuff like that. Oh yeah, we love good. We say we love good music here on Tone Deaf Radio. We don't just want to hey, say man. music because you know a lot of it is crap. But we love good music, and we consider Bell Biv DeVoe. Who have made good music? Hey, right, they've been making good music. People just sleeping mm-hmm. on them. You feel me? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. So weigh in on this topic. What are your views? Well, first of Man, all, you know, what's your age and are you single? Well, I'm currently single at the moment. I I, I don't like being single, but hey, that's another topic. But hey, look, I'm uh, 35. <laughs> wait, wait, but I want to know how did you hear about the show? Yeah. Man, I, I was one of my nice homies, man. She told me about it, man, and she said it was fine. I just told her, don't tell me no more. I want to see myself. What's your homie's name? <laughs> uh, uh, hey, they call they call uh, uh, Miss Bankhead. You dig what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. Okay, shout out to Miss Bankhead. Shouts out. Yeah, yeah, shout out, baby, down here in the eighth town. Dirty, dirty south. Not Atlanta, that's the lady south, but they ain't dirty, dirty. You feel me? Right. <laughs> I don't know why everybody holler about Atlanta South. It, it's the South down here, baby. What the water just you can't see through it. You feel me? <laughs> okay, so weigh in on the topic. What do you? How do you feel about users? Oh wait, wait. Man, what's you know, your, what's your sorry, What's your age? Oh, I'm geez. 35 years old. 35. She okay, said, "What's your time?" Or what? I am 35 years of age. And what is your sign, Dewan LeBray? Oh, I'm, I'm, man, I'm a Taurus. I don't take no boy. You dig what I'm talking about? Shout out to the Taurus. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 exactly what's the question here? And I'm going I'm to I'm break it down for you real quick. How do you feel about users and, you know, them trying to always come back into your life? What are your view on, view on users? Man, man, that's a good question. Oh, um, you know, a lot of times people, they, they try to get as much as drain as much as they can get out of you with bad intentions. But, you know, at the same time, once they get done with you, they think they're done with you, and 
and they move around, so to speak, and then they see your life starting to escalate once again on the rise of action to the climax, see, and, and, and then they got to figure out a way to snake back in, you feel me? But if you're smart enough, you know, you'll put God first. He's going to guide you out of that, out that, that darkness to the light. You dig what I'm talking about? Right. Uh-huh. So okay. so I feel like you was going to get as much as they can get as long as you let them get. You know, it ain't, it ain't even so much they fault. It's the person that's getting used fault because they should study themselves to know when it's a snake around. You feel me? Right, right. That's true. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, oh, yeah. Kind of you're saying you got some wit about you. I like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I do a little bit. I do a little bit. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I do it just enough. I do it just enough. Put it like that. So, ladies, what the wine didn't tell us, not to get completely off topic, but the wine does music too. Oh, oh, do my! Oh. I can sing. He sings, doesn't he? Yeah, we. I don't sing. I I sing. See, it's a big, it's a I, big, huge difference. Oh, you say you didn't sing. You sang. Okay. Yeah, okay. you know, a lot of people they sing. You know, I mean, they right. pronunciate words perfectly. I sing. I get it whatever way, whatever way it come out, baby. I might be tone deaf. You dig? Me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I feel I feel special, man. I'm on the phone on a nice little radio talk show with I guess you they sound like they beautiful women, you feel me? Oh yeah, they're fine. We fine. Yeah, they they sound like they beautiful. I heard one of them earlier on the talk show was talking about putting on some stilettos and things. I was finna make a short film. What it is? <laughs> talking about hitting the penitentiary. <laughs> don't don't hit the penitentiary, baby. Come to A Town, we're gonna put you on the stage. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, 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 you know what? You know what? And, when, and whenever you get here, if, if nobody lets you go on stage, all you got to say is LeBray told you that. And they're they okay. going to let it happen. Okay. I remember that. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Already. Already. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> mm, uh, uh. Why, 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 why come it ain't no, t- no bashing and stuff going on right now? You know, most of the time, women be bashing us men. We don't always bash here on yeah. women behaving really badly. Of course, we do have our we do have our rants and um, yeah. our our fuckboy moments. But right. um, I heard that. tonight we're just like we cool it. Like everybody's cool. Like we're cool. Like, man, yeah. if you want I got a question go for in. all you women. Mm-hmm. I got a question for all you women on this show tonight. Okay. You on mm-hmm. our show? What? You can't be giving no question on our show. I- I request to ask a question. (laughs) What is the difference between a female up north and a female down south? Oh, we just talked about this. You just talked about this. I mean, it it really is a difference. It really is. It's a difference. It's definitely a difference. I just want to hear from a woman's Uh, perspective. Now, you know what? I think you will have to probably meet a guy who's probably... Dating. No, no, because see, women, you, a guy get their game from a, from their mama, and mama, women already know the game. They just act like they don't know the game to let the man feel masculine, you feel me? Well, did you know, like, even though I was born and raised up north here, like, my grandmother, my mom, all of them are southern women. So I was born oh. with, with those hey, with those. So that's why you're good then. That's why you're good because you're a southern woman. Yeah, I was just cold. I was uh. brought up a little different. I'm not the average northern type of woman. Like, even, like, uh. the way I look at things, the way I handle my man, all of that stuff is very, very different from a woman who was come from a family and they all was born and raised up north. So it's, it's kind of my viewpoint to be more biased to the south because of how I was brought up. My mom and my grandmother, both Mississippi women. You know, uh, uh, oh, my yeah, dad you, yeah, you from Tennessee, the so... It's kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, he kind of made his way to the sticks. I ain't mad at him. Get well, it. coming from a northerner, I spent summers in the south, and, you know, I've spent a lot of my adolescent years in the south, but I, I wouldn't say that there is a great big difference. It's just that it's uh, the same oh. thing with men. Women oh. are faster 
from the north versus the oh, south. Oh, no. It depends mm, on what I, part I of the south they came from. They say that. See, see it depends no, on where they came y'all from in guys, the south. Y'all guys tend to be, or y'all might try that user shit with us females in the south, but if you're from the north, you already up on whatever he's trying to pull, so you either play along with his game or you duck punch it and stop it right there where it stands because, you know, you don't believe nothing that he's saying. So well, that's, I just that's think that ends, women though, you know. up north have been through different scenarios. Not saying well, it, women it, in the south have not, but I just think that women, people up north are faster. Well, it just depends on what part of the south and what part of the north you came from. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As yeah. I'm telling you, it admits, I have been to some very slow areas in the up north. Yeah. Well, you know what? A lot of southern people are, you know, they moved up north. Like I know Chicago, a lot of southern people live all throughout Chicago. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they they, they, they here, saturated. Um, even like yeah, up the here in Wisconsin. Yeah, saturated there. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's like. I, I can definitely, yeah, there is a lot of parts up north here that are very southern because people have from the south have migrated up here. And what's crazy they saturated. is uh, and what's crazy is a lot of people that are, you know, naturally from the south, born and raised, are migrating up from the north, are migrating south. So it's kind of like you both ways. You got people down south coming up here, people from up here going down south. That's Absolutely. Good Being from coming out here, huh? Detroit, my family is from Mississippi. So yeah. in Arkansas, I don't know if that's considered the South, but yeah, that's you know, yeah, um, yeah. That's the South. <laughs> we're we're kind of raised by Southerners, so I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I have female well. friends from the South, and I find yeah. that they're they're cool, but I I just I just find that we're a lot and fast, meaning not. In a bad way, like y'all slow, you know, mentally slow, right. but just fast, like uh, boy, boy, crazy fast. Oh well, that depends on if you're looking for a woman or a young woman or just a thought. You feel me? But we ain't gonna go there, you know, because you got some thoughts down here. They very slow. Then you got young women that ain't really been out there long enough. Then you got a real woman, you know. But, you know, hey, we're going to say that for another time. You dig what I'm talking about? Oh, I can't breathe right now. <laughs> man. Man, man, okay. she took me back to the thought situation. Thought, boy, I'm telling you. That, that's just, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. That could be a whole show in itself, the thought. Well, y'all need, y'all need to come down here to Ace Town and host this show one of these days. And I'm, it's going to be on LaBrie, baby. You got it on record. What? <laughs> I can't stand you, Dwyla Brass. Well, I can't. That's all right, baby. I'm trying to get it out there on the pitch. And look, when everybody hear it like that, they be like, I want to see if this nigga bought his business. You feel me? Yeah. And we put it out here. We do y'all right. Show you some real South guys, you know, that treat women right, you know, and do the right mm-hmm. thing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. an undermining situation. You feel me? Because we got it somewhere. Somebody got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think people kind of like enter situations uh, with the pre notion that you know it's a challenge, like it's a game, like you have to win right. something. You know, like mm-hmm. you don't ever want to be the first to say I love you, or you might want to well, be the first yeah, person yeah. to say I love you. Yeah, yeah. Women already know if a man is full of shit or not. I'm just telling you right now. Women <laughs> can look at you and tell you if you're full of shit already. But, you know, it's the thing in your back of your subconscious be thinking, I'm going to get this boy a try and see what his mind is. That's the stupidity know you that I don't like about women because we know this, and yet we think that we can change that man. Yeah, that's Lies true. Lies and true. deceit. <laughs> what did you say? You Lies keep doing the same that. thing over and over again, getting the same results? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey you, call them re- you call them recycled niggas. Is that what they call? That means if you if you if you if you visit here today and you see one of those guys and you come here three months and you see that same guy, trust me, if you ask him what he's been doing, it'll be the same story in a different format. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. You're right. I can sense it. I can sense it. 